Man, there are a lot of places you can build a website. We're going to talk about all the different variants today and how to pick the right one for your business. Let's talk about website platforms. What does that mean? Well, it means what is your going to be the system or the place in which you create your website. You'll be going in to the back, you'll log in, and that's where you're going to manage your pages and your posts on your website, or maybe your web designer or developer does for you. So let's talk a little bit about website platforms. The biggest no-no, and I need you to listen to me on this, is no proprietary or custom platforms. Okay, so the more proprietary or custom it is, the more tied to that developer you are. So the more generic, right, or the more, you know, we pick a theme in WordPress, which is like a um, coat of paint, right? You make the paint look good, but it's still the same wall, if you will. So remember that proprietary and custom means they're the only people that can fix it. They're the only people that you pay. And when you decide to leave those people, it's a real mess for you because they're the only ones who could actually go in and fix it. So please, no proprietary, no custom systems. You need to hire and fire like that, or you're gonna be stuck in code jail, we call it. You'll be stuck with, in code jail with that one designer forever because you've put all that money into that custom site and only they can manage it. All right, so let's talk about platforms. There's a number of different platforms out there and. And as business owners, you are going to have to figure out which one is right for you. So I'm gonna give you sort of my top four. And of course, if you have any comments or other platforms you love, make sure to put them in the comments below. I'd love to see your feedback and what it is that you use for your website platform. Okay, so the first one is gonna be probably the most well-known is dun -dun -dun, WordPress. I think everyone knows that already. WordPress is probably the most well-known website platform. Now, WordPress is not perfect. It has its own interesting issues around security. So you need to make sure that you're on a secured server and that you have a good beefy password. But WordPress is very easy in most cases to go behind, you know, log into your site, create pages, create posts. Pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it, WordPress, I think is a great decision for you if you want autonomy, meaning you can hire and fire a web developer and another guy can just pick up and go from there. You don't, you're not tied to one specific development team for WordPress. Now, when we go a little more custom, now we're talking about a tool called Drupal. Now, when you go to speak to web developers, they will have a buffet of different things that they feel they want to work in. So you might have people that want WordPress. Some people might want Drupal. Some people might want a bunch of other platforms. Remember that the more custom the harder it is for you to manage. So try to stay within these two worlds if possible. I recommend WordPress, all my sites are on WordPress, all my client sites are on WordPress. Now with that said, there's some other tools that maybe you're not ready to invest at this level but you still need a website. We have some more simpler things that make creating a website easier. Now this is called Wix.com. Wix is a website that is super easy peasy. You go in, you can, everything is like a WYSIWYG interface where you can just move and drop and drag and they make it very, very easy for you. There are design limitations inside of something like Wix. Another site that's really great for this too is a website called Squarespace. Now Squarespace, similar to Wix, is sort of a beginner's website. Now there are a lot of different companies now that are actually elevating Squarespace design into something more professional. So you can find professional Wix and Squarespace developers. You might wanna consider going to like elance.com or Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com or there's a lot of other like auction sites and you can go in and say, I want a Wix or a Squarespace website and you're gonna be able to find a professional who can probably do a lot more with the design interface than say, a, you know, like me who I don't really, you know, want to go in there and mess with the home page for 17 hours, which is what I would do. But you know, what are all the variants and what can I do and what can and I have to learn as I'm doing it. So if you have better things to do with your business and time, I would recommend that you use the, the crowdsourcing tools like Fiverr, 99designs, um, Logo Tournament is a great place for logos. And, and you know, you as a business owner do not have to manage every single thing, FYI. But if you cannot have to manage your website, that was gonna free you up for a lot of time to work on other things in your business. 
So don't let a platform intimidate you. It's just, where do I want to build my website? What's the engine of that website? Is it a Honda or is it a Ferrari? A Ferrari is going to be expensive because it's all custom, right? My little um, Honda is going to be something that anyone can fix. It's reliable and you know you can go back to it over and over again. So you want a Honda or a Ferrari, you're going to pay for the higher priced, more custom system. And the Honda, the, the, the Honda is going to be more in this space where you're able to just easy peasy, put gas in it and go. And at the end of the day, as a business owner, we want the most effective, least expensive and most findable website platform. And all of these are also great for SEO. If you're a business owner that has all these things swirling in your head, social media, hashtags, blogs, website, well, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell so that you get notified every day of our little tips and tricks and nuggets to be the most findable business online. Oh.